Winning the silver medal at the European Championships was just like a fairy tale. It was the most incredible feeling and very emotional on the podium watching my country's flag be raised. Especially when, as a little girl, you know, the opportunity just wasn't there because boxing was banned for women. So to then be on the podium winning medals for my country, it was just amazing. I loved boxing from being a little girl. Um, my granddad took me to the gym from being sort of six, seven years old, because uh, he's run our gym for over 40 years now. And I loved every single minute, skipping, bags, pads, circuit. But I think my favorite was sparring, especially with my dad. We used to love sort of moving around together, whether it was in the gym or in the front room, we'd always be sparring together. And sometimes he'd let me punch him and sort of pretend to get knocked over. And that was a pretty good feeling. I made my competitive boxing debut in February 2011. I was extremely nervous, but I won, which that helped and I uh, absolutely loved the experience. Me and my dad just worked really hard with him as my coach and I got a lot of success and went on to box for England and represented them at the World and European Championships, which was an incredible experience. Something that was really nice that me and my dad shared is that when I won the ABA title in 2015, that made us the first father and daughter in history to both win senior ABA titles. That was a special moment for us and uh, it's been a phenomenal journey for me and my dad in amateur boxing, but now it's time for the, the new chapter. Twelve months ago I suffered a horrendous injury. It was dark times because I didn't even know if I could come back from it, but Ultimately, it meant I missed the World and European Championships, so I was devastated, but I've, I've worked hard and I'm back now, and I'm eager and excited to get started with this new journey. I've got a really good team behind me. Um, the management team are excellent with Lyndon and Mark. Um, I've got the guys, Steve and Mark, at Platform Performance, who are helping me with strength and conditioning. And then my coach, Blaine Eunice. He was really the only person who I wanted to coach me. He's a brilliant coach and a great person, and. It's really a privilege to work with him. And of course, you know, what's most vital of all is the support of family and friends, and I've got that in abundance, so I'm very, very blessed in that way. I've come a really long way, but it's been a, a long, tough fight to get acceptance in our sport. It's our responsibility to push it even further and inspiring, you know, the next generation and being the role model for young girls and boys uh, that wasn't there for me when I was a kid, and I hope to be that for others.